I'm going to share a 100% free and completely open source method to create high quality designs using AI. This is Design OS, which is a completely open source project to create high quality designs using AI. But the problem is this is a GitHub repository and it works best with Claude code. And maybe most of you are not technical enough to use this Design OS project and then create a design using this. Or maybe you just don't want to use Claude code. So to solve this problem for you, I did something crazy. So I downloaded Design OS project on my computer. Then I spent few hours in wipe coding and I converted the entire design OS project into a fully functional web application that you can use right now 100% for free without any subscription without any payments so now rather than downloading design OS on your computer and then running all those complex commands and then using cloud code for it you can simply just go to this website and then simply just click on get started choose your project directory and then you can start using all of the design OS functionalities right here and it will build the complete design system for your project project right here inside your browser and that too 100% for free without any cost. Before I share more details about this and give you a complete step-by-step -step guideline, let's just talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Vibes.dev which is our own company. So if you have a crazy mobile app idea and you quickly want to prototype it, you can simply just use Vibes.dev and explain your idea in here. And let's suppose you want to create a social media app and just like explain what sort of functionality this app should have and then you can simply just click on generate button. And Vibes.dev in just few seconds seconds will create this nice high quality front end design for your application this is not ai slop this is not like that generic ai design these are like really high quality designs that you can see in here every single screen is carefully crafted you can see there are like really nice looking animations on each of these screens as well so you can almost create any sort of applications and you can even quickly prototype as well so you can link different screens with each other to actually see your app working in real time and once you're done prototyping i know you just want to implement these designs inside your project what you can do you can simply just click on this implement button and it will create a detail implementation.md file you can just like copy it or download it and then you can just like add it inside your ai code editor or you can just like individually just go to the view source code in each of these designs and from here you can just like either copy code or click on this copy prompt button and now you can just like choose your preferred text stack maybe flutter expo react native or ios and after that you can just like copy this prompt and then paste that prompt inside your ai coding agent and let's suppose in kilo code paste that prompt and kilo code your ai coding agent will get this detail prompt with detailed implementation guideline and will implement this design for you you can start using wipe start dev right now you can just click on the link in description or directly just go to wipe start dev view all right so to make things simple for you what i did i hosted the entire design os project on this website this is unslop.design just go to unslop.design unslop.design and this is a completely free and completely open source project there is no subscription cost there is nothing i hosted it on my own server then i just like connected it to this domain to just make everything simple for my youtube community so just go to unslop.design and from here you can simply just click on this sign in button and then you can just like sign in using your google account there is no subscription fee there is no cost nothing i just created this sign in and authentication system just to see how many of you are actually going to use it and even if i should continue working on this project or not so simply just log in using google once you are logged in one thing that you need to do you need to provide an api key for ai so what you can do you can just like connect your open router api key and then you can use the 100 percent free ai models from open router so simply just click on this get api key button and here you can just give your api key a name click on create and this is how it will create an api key for you you don't need to pay anything on open router if you are going to use a 100 percent free ai model if you just go to open router and write free you can find a lot of different free ai models like deep seek r1 you can find this ai model for free there are a lot of other AI models that you can use 100% free like GLM 4.5 which is absolutely a really really good model then there is Kimi K2 as well which is available for free then there is Gwen 3 as well which is available for free there is Gemini 2.0 Flash as well which is available for free so just use any of these free AI models from open router now you are going to do that once you have provided your API key in here you click on save API key and now what you can do you can just like close this and now you can simply just click on this get started button in here now you can just choose 
choose any folder on your computer you can just choose maybe any of your projects where you want to like implement this design system or you can just like choose an any empty project on your an empty folder on your computer so in my case i have just like created this empty folder i'm just going to click on this select folder button and now the actual fun begins and here you can see there is this use interactive form in other case if you're using this project maybe inside ai code editor if you have like installed it on your computer like me in here so then you need to like run this command and then do that inside your ai code editor and this way it can be a bit complex for you if you are really not a programmer so what i did i created this interactive form for you you can simply just click on this use interactive form button and here you can just like explain your ai project so i can just like maybe any project i can just like give it any project name it can be ai add creator and now i can just like give this project a description ai add creator to create video and images ads using ai yeah so that is just like simple description so now you need to just like give your problem you can just like mention of your problem or you can simply just like choose your ai model you can choose any of these ai models from here or you can just like provide your custom model id in here as well and once you have done that just make sure that you have explained everything about your project you have explained your problem as well that like what problem your product is solving and also what are the key features of your product that's it and now you can simply just click on this generate product overview so now it will create project overview using ai so this is the product overview that's not the important part because we have already done that but now you can just like maybe download this file or you can what you can do you can simply just click on this use interactive form again to create roadmap for your product so you can simply just click on that again and now you can just like create a roadmap first maybe you're going to create a landing page just act as a product designer and just answer these questions which are being asked in this form because this will help you to define your design system for your project so just mention in here create landing page for the project now you can just like create another section in here and maybe give this section another name so you can just like add and many as many sections as you can so ai add generation tool that's the next section just like explain all of the product roadmap that the steps that you're actually going to do step by step you can use ai as well to define your product roadmap but you can just like enter that in here and now you can simply just click on this generate product roadmap and what it will do it will generate product roadmap by the way i'm not saving any data on backend where data is being stored i'll tell you in a minute data is being stored right now right here inside your browser and also on your computer how it is being stored I'll tell that in a minute, but now what you can do, you can next simply just click on this data model and here you can simply just click on this generate with AI. You can simply just click on this generate with AI and it will create the complete data model with AI. You can enter your entities in here, but based on your product requirements, your product vision, your product roadmap, it will just create this data model for you. The next step is this design. You can now simply again click on generate with AI and now you can just like choose the sort of design that you want to create. Prime color you can just like choose your primary color secondary color neutral color and then typography you can just like choose heading fonts body fonts and mono font so just choose all of these different options from here simply just click on this ai suggestion as well and now simply just click on this generate with ai so based on your product roadmap it will just like create these primary colors and these files for you that you are going to actually use in a minute inside your project next step is now this you can simply just click on this generate with ai and it will actually create this application shell so you can simply just click on this generate with ai and it will generate this design shell simply just click on this generate with ai and it will just define the layout for your project the next thing is the section so you can simply just click on this again and now you can just like define this section the first section is maybe dashboard add creator dashboard so as i told you earlier that you're actually acting as a product designer you should know about your product if you have used ai to define your product so now you need to like explain all of these different things so what sort of like sections are there inside your product you need to you need to like provide that like maybe settings section then the, these are like different modules for your project simply now simply click on this generate product roadmap and it will just create product roadmap for you using ai again and next thing is now simply just click on this export button and here you can see all of these screens are ready other than this final one screens with screen designs because we did not have like enough information about that so that's why i did not provide that but right now we are ready to export this project 
and you can see there is an option in here but if you just like finish this step so it will give you this option this step section with screen designs so what you can do if you just open this folder in here the folder that you selected earlier and here if you just like open this product folder this is the product folder which was just created by our tool on your computer right here if you just click on this and here you can find your folder one is data model another one is design system then there is shell there is a product overview file and then there is product roadmap file if you just click on data model you can find your data model in here if you just click on this design system you can find your design system these are json files and if you just click on this shell and you can find your shell in here and similarly you can just like click on this product overview and product roadmap as well to review everything now you need to now add this folder this entire folder inside your project to use this design system inside your project so what i'm going to do i'm just going to create an empty next.js project you can create any other react project but i'm just like going to use like going to create an empty next.js project so to create an access project i have just created an empty folder and now i'm just going to run this command and press enter and now i'll just give my project a name i'll just give it on slope test 5 press enter and now just like select these default options and it will just create an excess project and after that we are going to open this project inside google and t gravity as i promised you this is going to be 100 percent free method to create like the complete design system so you can use google anti gravity you can use cursor you can use Klein, rue code kilo code whatever you want to use you can use that and then create anything using that so this is the empty nexus project and now i can just open google anti gravity and right now i have just opened this project inside google anti gravity next thing that you need to do is just drag and drop that product folder inside your project so this product folder that you just created using unslop design you can simply just copy this from here and then paste that inside your anti-gravity project or you can just like drag and drop from here you can just like drag it from here and then drop it inside your root directory inside your next.js project and now you can see your product folder is added in here there is this data model design system shell product overview and product roadmap all of these files have been created already and you can find inside this design system there is this color.js typography.js and inside data model you can find this data model and inside this product overview you can find this product overview as well once that is done and this product folder has been added now inside the root directory of your project now you can just give command to anti-gravity and ask it to create any design for you you can just like start with a landing page please review slash product for understand the design system of our project and then create a landing page for our project that's it press enter and now it is going to review the entire design system that we have just created and based on what we have already created it is then going to create a landing page for us and you can see inside our design system the json files that we created based on those json files it has already added fonts to our project and also all the details that you provided about the colors and based on that it has just created this implementation plan and now i can just ask you to please continue and now it will just continue the implementation based on this implementation plan so based on our design system it just created this implementation plan and here it just like chose those fonts that we defined in there it defined the complete structure of a landing page based on our design system and now it is going to create this landing page for us okay so anti-gravity has just completed this task and just created this landing page for us and it looks way more customized and based on our design system now we can just ask anti-gravity to further like customize this landing page or you can just create the design for rest of your project so using design system like this can actually help you to create better designs and more customized design and less ai slop sort of designs so either you can just go to design os and then install that entire project on your computer or you can just like quickly use this unslop design 100% for free completely open source and then you can just provide your api key from open router and then start using it absolutely for free for better results and better design system i recommend you using a better ai model maybe something like gemini 3 pro or something like claude sonnet 4.5 but those are paid ai models so you can either use those or you can just like use any of the free ai models from open router if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i'll see you next video bye, -bye.